Earlier this year, North Carolina changed the way it reports information about school performance. Since the 2001-2002 school year, the state has published an online report card for every school each year with information about student performance, teacher credentials, and school safety. This year, the new school report cards include an A through F letter grade for every school across the state. These letter grades are based on a 15-point scale. For example, a school with a report card score of 85 receives an A, while a school with a report card score of 55 receives a C. 80% of the score is based on school-wide achievement, which includes scores from several measures of student progress like end of grade, end of course, and ACT test results, as well as graduation rates and measures of students' readiness for work. The other 20% of a school's score is based on school-wide measures of growth, or the extent to which students in a school met or exceeded performance expectations for that year. Many stakeholders have created charts and graphs to highlight different aspects of the new school report card data. As the first installment of our new feature, Consider It Mapped, the Friday Institute, in partnership with EdNC, wanted to take these analyses a step further by showing a map of all of the schools and their grades across the state. These maps allow users to look at patterns and clustering of scores high to low, and also allow users to create their own what-if scenarios. Using the slider on the side of the map, we can change the amount that the school achievement and growth scores contribute to a school's overall grade to see how the picture would change if school achievement and growth were weighted differently. For example, if a user wants to see what a school's score would be if it were based solely on performance, the user can change the grade calculation to include only the performance component of a school's score. Or, if a user wants to see what a school's score would be if more weight were given to growth, the user can adjust the slider to increase how much growth counts in the overall grade calculation. We can also zoom to individual counties and search specific schools. Finally, our settings allow the user to switch from the current 15-point grade scale to 10-point grade scale and see how that would change schools' report card grades. Since their release, the new school report cards have generated much controversy. Some believe that measuring overall school achievement using a universal grading system will help to identify exemplary schools who can share their strategies for success and also struggling schools in need of more support. Others believe that the new school grades don't accurately reflect overall school quality, that school growth should be worth more than 20% of the overall grade, and that school grades should be based on more than just a few high stakes measures. It's our hope that this interactive map will help parents, school administrators, and policymakers engage in deeper discussions about how we measure school achievement. For more information about this and future maps, visit the Consider It Mapped page on ednc.org.